just released for 2010 and um, right now our current best seller is a Manix 2. This is a USA made product using a crucible steel 154 cm. The Manix 2 features a ball bearing lock and this locking system is essentially a free flowing ball bearing that rotates as you use it. So what that means is that it, it self adjusts. It doesn't wear in the same place over time. It's one of the strongest locking systems Spyderco makes and it's operated by simply pulling back on the ball itself. This is a G10 handle, scale that's overlaid, you can see that, but overlaid on a stainless steel handle itself. What we've done with this is a little bit unique. We've not done this before, where to create that jimping, again, that texturing, we've extended the steel handle scale just slightly beyond the G10 and then we've texturized it in two different places on the handle. And again, that offers great tactile resistance. What that does is keep it in your hand. If my hand was gloved, wet, cold, um, I have a better, better grip onto the handle and more control over the cutting edge. This has a two finger choil that's designed to choke up with both fingers up close or I can choke back farther on the edge of the blade, the back end of the blade. Um, an extra large lanyard hole, that's for use for attachment of a thong or lanyard in water, um, tall grass, any place I had to take the chance of dropping it. This is a hollow ground blade, again with spine jimping and an enlarged spider co round hole. The pocket clip is a left right sil uh, silhouette shaped pocket clip. We find that the silhouette shape is a little easier on a pants pocket or the, the material, the fabric of your clothing. So if you tend to carry in the same place all the time, you're not you're not tearing up your pants as much because we eliminated all the sharp edges on the clip. And of course it is a contour clip and and has a little bit of spring to it too. So that comes in and out fairly easily, but not so easily that when you bend over it's falling out of your pocket. Um, MSRP on this is about $150 and we're releasing a translucent blue lightweight version of it for 2011.